what is up y'all how are things cool so today we have something very special i'm reacting to america's cheapest family extreme cheapskates now this is courtesy of my girl mary check out her channel so let's just get into it this should be interesting. I cannot wait to see some cheap people. <laughs> I can see myself in the plate. Uh uh. No. Can I be done? <laughs> they are not washing your dishes in dirty pool water. Those kids been playing in that for who knows how long, eight hours, and you're just gonna bring out, oh, here's your dishes, let's go wash them in the pool, like, do they, are they, oh my gosh, let's, people, come on, get a brain cell. I'm Melanie O'Brien. And I'm Sean O'Brien. And, and we're, we're America's, America's cheapest, cheapest family. family. Making it rain. In the summertime, when the kids are playing outside in the pool, we can utilize that afterwards to, to help clean our dishes. We save money on the water bill. We save money on the electric bill. Are we going to become millionaires off of it? Is that accurate? Because I don't think so. Like, oh yeah, we're going to become millionaires because we're using dirty pool water to wash our dirty dishes. Like, OMG, so funny. Okay, I starting watching this like it's only been five minutes not even five minutes and the respect right now is like mid 50s at this point it's literally come on people do better sean and i agree that if we don't have to buy anything new then we won't and we'll make use with what we have that's our lifestyle that's our way our pets and pans broke, the handles broke off, and instead of going out and buying brand new pots and pans, Sean made this wrench that doubles as a handle, and the duct tape protects my hands from burning. Ma'am? <laughs> Don't tell me she's using a wrench as a pan handle. <laughs> Bro, that is insane. Oh my gosh. And there was like, what, four pieces of baking in that bacon in that pan for like, what, five of them? Like what, they're getting one piece of bacon? Watch, watch, they're gonna get one piece of bacon, I swear. All right, kids, bacon's ready. It's been more than 10 years since Sean and Melanie have made any significant improvements to their home. What did I say? That little girl, oh my gosh, look at her face. Like, she got one piece of bacon. A sacrifice they claim has saved them over $30,000. This is where we spend most of our time, in the living room. Um, as you can see, we've got very sparse furniture. No, stop right there. Don't tell me she has a lawn chair as her couch. Like, hello? What is this? Living room furniture can cost up to ten, twenty thousand dollars $20,000, depending on what kind you're buying. Okay, that little girl's chair might be the nicest looking thing in that living room. Like, no joke. Like, I don't want to go to your house and just see a single sofa. That's not even a sofa. It's like a, a table. What? What is this? Costs maybe 50 bucks. A few months ago, our shower head broke, and Sean came up with a great way to fix it. For the price of a soda bottle, he rigged it up to the shower head and just poked holes in there. And now we have a brand new shower head. No. <laughs> no. That should be illegal. You cannot just put a soda bottle. I mean, great way to save money, like, <laughs> legit, no. Ma'am, I'm so done with this woman, like, literally. People might think our behavior is over the top, but... Extreme. Or extreme, yeah. but I think it all depends on the person's perspective. I really think it depends on the person's perspective, because, you know, we're, we're not cheapskates, so... 
<laughs> so funny. No, we were done For the past several years, the O'Briens have contemplated moving into a larger space. But selling their current home would require them to make renovations they've avoided for the past decade. Just let the woman enjoy her magazine. Like, she's just sitting on her lawn chair with all her children playing in the room. Like, come on, give her a hard time. <laughs> yeah, here's the yard. Okay. Um, oh, watch your step, apparently. Yeah. Our fence is a little piecemealed together. So I just replace the boards as they come. Leans a little, but it's sturdy. Sir, did you just say you replace boards? Who does that? Just buy a new fence. Sir, <laughs> your backyard is bigger than mine. You could literally replace your dumb fence. Goodness gracious. I don't know what to say anymore. You're gonna have to repaint the fence. I mean, if not replaced. Ooh, it's, uh, how much is we looking to replace? Around. Oh, you know what? Mm, I don't think that's gonna work for me, pal. I just, a few bucks is gonna ruin my entire life savings. You know, we're trying to be cheapskates here, so I can't spend 50 bucks. On 1,800 bucks. The fence in the backyard is definitely eclectic. The colors look like a marble cake that you would get at a bakery. It brings character to the neighborhood. It brings character to the neighborhood. Haven't heard that one before. No, but seriously, have you like seen those houses? Like, literally, they are they look like they're all matching in all the fences and like the gra even their grass is like perfect. Okay, so this video is getting kind of long, but we're gonna skip ahead a little bit and this is where things start getting a little crazy, just putting it out there. Like, it's, it's like, these people have no clue what they're doing, and it makes me mad. So, yeah. This won't work. You've got to stage this room. Stage how? Well, a bean bag, an ottoman. I mean, you've got to have furniture here, period. The actual living room in a house is very important because that's where the majority of all the family time happens. They didn't even have a TV or any furniture at all. I've seen houses online that don't have any furniture. Well, there's none in your neighborhood that don't have furniture. Just get a couch. <laughs> this guy, he's literally laying it on them. He's like, you don't have any furniture. All you got is a bean bag and a lawn chair. I don't know what to tell you. Figure it out. Well, I'll tell you this too. I mean, none of these homes that are selling has carpet like this. The stains, the burn marks. I, I honestly don't feel like a buyer would even put an offer in with carpet like this. Roasted. Okay, I'm sorry. We would love to replace the carpet completely. We don't want to spend a whole lot of money on the upgrade, but we really want to sell the house. We're very motivated to sell. Joe, Sean O'Brien. Good to meet you, sir. Hey, Joe. This is my I'm wife, Melanie. Melanie. Good to, nice meet, to you, meet you, Melanie. You. So looking at 1,000 square feet, uh, in something like this piece of carpet here, we'd probably be looking at about a $4,000 budget. Four thousand bucks? No. You're done. Ew. We could get into some carpet uh, in this range here, so a little more cost-effective system, and we would be looking at a budget closer to around eighteen hundred to two thousand dollars. I mean, all right. So what I'm really just kind of looking for, um, let's say I just want to do sections. Shut up. No, I know what he's gonna do. Sections? No. I swear. Okay, watch, watch. Uh, you know, a, a burnt stain here, maybe some wax on the floor there type of thing. Some red um, wine there. Yeah. Is it unheard of to patch up carpet? <laughs> I mean, I is it unheard of? It, it really is unheard of. I, I've never heard such thing. Yeah, I definitely don't want it to be horrific, but is there a way to get something like this? No. There's not a way for you to get that. <laughs> I'm sorry. She was literally just like, yeah, can we get like some, some red wine stain? You know what I mean? No, I don't know what you mean, woman. <laughs> oh. Literally that yeah. size and that. Yeah, maybe, I, maybe about 10 would be good. I, 
Sure, that would definitely be a first. We can take a look. Okay. Uh, let's take a look and see what we can work out. Sure. I think this is going to be the closest we'll be able to make it match. So, Joe, uh, what do you think on uh, us purchase this? Uh, guys, I don't know. How about uh, how about twenty? We'll do twenty dollars. Okay. I appreciate it. Thank you. All right. <laughs> So basically the last remainder of this video is they get the carpet, it looks hideous, he puts it in by himself, and you can watch the rest. Then they try to sell it, and everyone's like, thinks it's terrible, which it is, because they're cheapskates, and no offense, but they need to get better. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed my reaction, and... Yeah, stay tuned for another one. Um, <laughs> yeah, so I'll see you in the next video. Hope you liked it. Don't be cheap, Steve.